hello friends welcome to my channel and in today's video we will see how we can implement reactive form by using form group and form control i will be using angular material forms in order to implement reactive forms okay in the last tutorial we have already seen what are angular forms what are the different type of angular forms that is template driven and reactive forms right so in this tutorial we will implement reactive form okay so without getting late let's get started in order to implement the reactive forms we have to first know the form group and form control then we will be doing uh, form submission and form validation also but in this tutorial I will try to implement the reactive forms since form validation has a lot of things into it so i will make a separate video on form validation in this tutorial i won't be doing form validation i will uh, simply create the forms and try to submit it okay so let's get started now let's try to implement the reactive form here okay so first of all we will need to add the dependencies to implement the forms okay so let's go to app model.ts okay and first of all the first thing that you need to import is forms model okay so import forms model this will come from angular slash form okay another thing that we need to import in order to explicitly implement reactive form is reactive form modules if you are trying to implement template driven form you don't need to import it okay so in order to implement reactive form import reactive forms module reactive forms module this will also come from angular forms okay now let's add it to the import array also here so let's add forms module and then also add reactive forms module reactive forms module okay so adding the dependency is done now let's go to our reactive form component and open reactive form dot ts okay so we are into reactive form component dot ts here first of all we need to understand uh, some of the things so we have something as form group here okay inside this form group inside this form group we have lot of form controls okay form controls what does it mean it means we will create one form group inside that we will have form controls for each input field okay so if we have a name input field we will have a form control for name then other form control for id email password so for each different input fields we will have different form controls okay so let's see how we can implement this so first of all we need to import form group then form control then validators in order to validate the forms so these three things we need to import here in order to implement form group and form control okay so first of all we will create an instance of form group so let's name it as reactive form reactive form this is the object of form group class okay and we are working with angular 12 and plus version so we need to initialize this form also here okay so for that give equals to curly braces means object as form group
ओके आई हैव मेड अ स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक ओके सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड एन इंस्टेंस ऑफ फॉर्म ग्रुप द नेम इज रिएक्टिव फॉर्म ओके now we will write a method to initialize all the controls inside that form group okay so let's name it as initialize form so method name will be initialize form don't worry if you don't understand lot of things but you will get to know uh, slowly so in this method what we will do we will create one instance of form group so let's do like this this dot the name of object of the form group equals to new form group we are creating a form group here inside this form group okay we will pass an object now inside this form group we will have different form controls for different fields so let's say we have a field name that is username okay and this will be a new form control form control and then its initial value let's say it as a empty string okay and let's also give a comma and then you can give validators dot required it means it is a required field but if you want to put multiple validators then you should put this into an array and you can add other elements to that array so i will show you how you can do this put it into the bigger bracket and then you can put comma here then you can add another validators validators dot there are lot of things max length min length right so you can add here okay so uh, i will just put validators dot required for uh, this tutorial because form validation we will do in the next tutorial again uh, we will give some other field like email right email let's copy this thing this will be also a form control so basically what we are doing we are creating different form controls for each input field that we will be writing in the html file okay for now uh, let's uh, go with only two uh, fields okay so we have initialized the form here okay but in order to initialize the form we need to call this method into the ng on it okay so this dot initialize form because when this component loads the first method that will be loaded is ng on it and inside ng ng on it if you call any method it will be get called on component load okay now let's go to html and try to write the input fields so the first thing that you need to write is form tag inside this form tag only you have to write all the input fields okay so you can write mat form field okay and then input mat input okay and you can give something like this and then give placeholder give enter username right and then let's copy this mat form field i will be creating three input fields 
this will be username mail password okay and also let's add one button this will be math button let's name it as submit and let's give type as submit so you need to understand since we are submitting the form you need to write this type equals to submit okay also we need to link each form control here with this input field right how we can do that we have one property whose name is form control name okay so form control name equals to you need to give the exact name what you have given here username okay so copy it go to your html and put it here okay now whatever input that is given to this input field will be controlled in the component.ts okay now let's add form control name for other input fields also name it as email and also give password here we haven't created a password so let's create it add one more field here let's copy this only we will just change the name of home control let's name it as password in the html for this password input field you can give the type as password so that whatever you are typing it won't be visible give password it won't be visible on the screen okay so now in the form tag we have to specify which form group is it okay so for that we have property that is form group form group equals to we will give the name of form group then after the submit of form which method will we call so for that we have an event which is ng submit okay and on the submit let's call one method which is okay so and what is the name of our form group let's check it reactive form right so let's copy it go to our html paste it here okay so now the form is created okay we have given the name of form group here inside this form group we have different input fields three input fields for each input field we have form control name here which will connect this input field to the component so whatever changes that will be done into the input field we can control it from the component okay now let's go to our ui and see how it looks like so compile the code by doing ng sub it will take couple of seconds to compile the code so you can see we are getting error right uh, on submit method doesn't exist because we haven't written uh, this own submit method into our ts file so let's go and write this on submit method here okay okay and let's log the value of this form here so what we will do this dot reactive form dot value okay so we will console the value of reactive form that we are getting okay 
now we should be uh, get rid of this error now our code has compiled successfully let's go to our ui let's type localhost 4200 now you can see we have this different uh, input fields you can write ravi let's name it as some random email and then give it some password let's open our console now let's click on submit so you can see right here one object is printed in which we have email password and username right so now we have successfully created our form and we have done the submission and on submission we are printing the object which contains our uh, email password username right now let me uh, just summarize once here what we have done first of all we imported the reactive form module and forms module into our app.module.ts then into the reactive form component in the ts file in the ts file first of all we have imported form group form control and validators then we have created an instance of reactive form then we have created an instance of form group whose name is reactive form then we have initialized the form here so what we have done inside a form group we have created three well inside this form group we have created three different form controls for each input field and then we have called this method into the ng on it okay so that on component load this form will be initialized okay now in the html we have created form tag inside that form tag we have created three input fields each for username email and password okay and then we have a button to submit the form and the type of button will be of type submit and in the form tag we need to give we need to define which form group we are using so we have defined here the name of form group and then we have written an event so on submit of the form this on submit method will be called and in the ts we have written on submit method in which we have printed the value of reactive form okay so this is the summary of this tutorial that's it for this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel to get more updates thanks and have a nice day